This is video number 545, God and Money. I recently had a prayer request from a beautiful princess who is currently stuck in a very toxic work relationship. She has her very own small passive income business on the side and she decided that the toxic work relationship is too toxic for her heart and soul and she decided to quit her job and just rely on God and a passive income to carry her through. I salute and honor princesses like this, princesses who are brave enough to lose the victim jacket and put on the more than conqueror's jacket. Sometimes it is difficult but the results will outshine all your sacrifices. This prayer request made me reflect a little bit on my journey for the past four years. I too gave up half of my income four years ago. It is a chicken and the egg situation. Sometimes it felt as if it was my calling, as if God gave me the order. Other days, I think it was a desperate attempt to really to get to know God. I dedicated two days of the week to God, to Bible study and to fervent pray. He has blessed me above my wildest expectations. I have up to date never received a direct payment as other people have experienced still hoping and waiting for the day of victory and celebration but God have blessed me numerously and abundantly on different other ways. I will walk into spa or any other local supermarket with a shopping list of buying washing powder, coffee or toilet paper and then the exact item I need that will be on a big sale. Other months, when my income is lower than usual, I will get more kilometers on, on a liter of petrol, with a record of once getting 17.2 kilometers on a liter of petrol. Furthermore, God has been doing a balancing act every month, as I only work for commission. It feels as if I have a bonus every second or third month, but things will only break when I have the funds to replace them. It is amazing. On the month, on months will low income, the expenses will also decrease. Then I will not have a lot of birthday parties to attend. The social invites will dry up. But on the other months, when I have had a bonus month, I will invi get invited to loads of conferences, girly weekends away or spa days. On the desert months, people will start inviting me to have lunch on their account attend fancy shows on their account without me even whispering a word about my finances to them. It is truly as if God is instructing them. I would really love to start a movement, a revelation to say, God will help you. God would like to take control of your finances. This is one of my favorite promises on wealth and God. Proverbs 10 verse 22 the blessing of the Lord, it makes truly rich, and he adds no sorrow with it, neither does toiling increase it. When the Israelites were collecting the manna, this was what happened with the manna collection. The people of Israel went to work and started gathering, some more, some less. But when they measured out what they had gathered, those who gathered more had no extra and those who gathered less weren't short. Each, each person had gathered as much as was needed. Exodus 16 verse 18 A very wealthy but also a very highly spirited co-believer once told me about this verse. Luke 16 verse 9 and I say unto you, make to yourself friends of mammon, of unrighteousness. So this is my standpoint. I will make friends with mammon, but I will depend on God. I recently read in a Polo Kudo book that not all people are open to receiving. So ergo, this is my prayer and my request to God. Please God, switch on the button within me to be open for receiving. I'm looking forward, I'm excited to add more to this learning curve of more and more testimonies of how, how God blessed me with my finances. Like the widow in the time of Elijah, the amount of empty vases she brought, this was the amount of vases that God filled. One of my vessels that I'm bringing before God is my finances. I'm single, never been married, 
and I'm a firm believer that it's not in God's will for women to worry, fret, or even make plans for finances. He made us to be soft, gentle, nurturers, to just encourage the men. So since I'm not yet married, I will allow Him, God, to take care of me.